Hey everybody, welcome back. So this is a first for the city of Chicago. Of course, it's a first for NASCAR. So drivers have been riding the course, they've been in the simulator, they've been looking at pictures. Uh, but, but this is a racetrack born of the streets of Chicago. It's a little closer to home for one of the drivers, Justin Allgaier. When NASCAR drivers take off from the starting line at Buckingham Fountain this weekend, Chicagoans will have one of their own to root for. To be able to come to Chicago, never in my wildest dreams did I ever envision this being a possibility. Justin Allgaier grew up in Riverton, just outside the Springfield area. He's the only driver competing in both the Saturday and Sunday races from the state of Illinois. You know because you're the hometown boy and we're rooting for you, you got to win this thing, right? No pressure <laughs> or anything. Yeah. Um, I have probably as much pressure on myself as you're going to put on me, so <laughs> we're good with that. We're good with that. I'm not going to say I have home court advantage because I don't think anybody does on a racetrack. <laughs> The Chicago track will be NASCAR's first ever Cup Series street race. We all want to be fast, right? Like, that's the goal of, of racing. But then navigating, you know, a city street, navigating corners, you know, that's all going to be things that we can look at it all day and we can drive around in a passenger vehicle. But until you're on it in a race vehicle, you're never really sure what you're going to expect. As these busy Chicago roads are transformed into a race course, it'll be special. Allgaier has been visiting downtown since he was a kid. When we turn on to Michigan and you're coming down through this middle section and you're looking at the skyline and you, you know, you're just seeing all the different cool features that Chicago downtown has to offer, you know, it's, it, you go from that breathtaking, really cool aha moment to, I better not forget where I'm at and, and, and miss the corner and crash, right? And once he crosses the finish line, he says he hopes the Windy City will have made the difference for NASCAR and the fans, new and old. This is a, a, a hustling city and to transform all of that to the barriers and to these, you know, crazy loud, uh, fast race cars, like it's going to be a, it's going to be a big, a big moment. So look, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't know a thing about NASCAR, but we do have this guy to root for. And it just so happens that his number, his car number, is number seven. Uh, so it all works out for us. We've got somebody to cheer on uh, this weekend for the race, Tanya and Val. I like what he said. Yeah, that we're a city that hustles. And we got our guy now. We're going for him. Number yep. seven. Isn't that mm -hmm. cool? I was hoping Lightning mm -hmm. McQueen would make its way out there from cars. All right, we got to go. <laughs> Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.